Max 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition, engine's full power, and lift off. Go SpaceX, go commercial GTO 1. Oh, that is pitching downrange. M1D chamber pressure is nominal. At T plus 30 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. During ascent, we tilt or gimbal the engines on the booster, and that turns the rocket horizontally, a maneuver known as a gravity turn. So the Power and telemetry nominal. Healthy call out there from the rocket. As the rocket is still going up, it is also now heading horizontally away from the launch pad. And moments ago, we throttled the engines Both down. Nine is supersonic. We throttled the engines down on the first stage in preparation for max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is a critical moment during flight because the combined stresses caused by Falcon 9 accelerating through the atmosphere and the ambient static pressure are at their max greatest. Q. And there's that call out for max Q. Now the rocket typically needs to go about 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and get into orbit. You can track our progress to orbit by keeping an eye on the stage one telemetry in the bottom of your screen. Now we have several events coming up in quick succession. Main engine cutoff, or MECO. Stage se has started. Good call out. Stage separation, second engine start one, or SES one, and fairing separation. And just as a reminder, we will not have any stage two views today, including separation, and the remainder of our webcast will follow the Falcon 9 booster's return to Earth. Now, main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine Merlin 1D engines shut down to 